Welcome, my name is Marcus Landis Gardner and I work for www.adreamforabetterworld.com, the first educational website dedicated to fighting atrocities in the world. Today's topic, Logarithms, Part 1. This is an eight-part video designed to be watched with its free workbook, Logarithms Workbook. If you do not have the workbook, stop this video now and get your free workbook from www.adreamforabetterworld.com. This series of videos, working with basic logarithms, will help you be able to solve many types of logarithms. This video does have some prerequisites. You need to know exponents and fractions. Logarithms are used every day in the Richter scale to deal with the many thousands of earthquakes that happen every year. So what is a logarithm? Why study it? Answer. A logarithm is quite simply a power or exponent of some number, usually 10. Example, the log of 100 with a base of 10 is 2, because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. The log of 125 with a base of 5 is 3, because 5 to the power of 3 is 125. So let us look at the two types of logarithm statements here. The first one uses log with a base of a. With this type of logarithm, you can change the base. The second one uses ln, or the natural logarithm, which always has a base of e. So let us look at our first equation and see how we can do logarithms with it. As I mentioned earlier, the log of 100 is 2. That is because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. Notice the 100 is x and 10 is a. So just plug them in and we see 100 equals 10 to the power of 2. Similarly, if we replace a with 5 and x with 125, we see that the log base 5 of 125 is indeed 3, because 5 to the third power is 125. Basic information for logarithms. We do not allow a to be negative or 0, so a must be positive. Also, x must be positive. The log of 1 is always 0. It doesn't matter what the base is, because any number except 0 to the 0 power is 1. For example, 5 to the 0 is 1, so is 1 third to the 0. This includes E, which is about 2.72. Let us look at some problems to make sure you can set up both problems of logarithms. Let us say you want to convert this exponential problem into a logarithm. Here we have 1 half raised to the third power is 1 eighth. We need to remember the basic formula y equals log base a of x if and only if x equals a to the y power. Here we have x is 1 eighth, y is 3, and a is 1 half. So plug them into the other side, and we have log base 1 half of 1 eighth is 3. Now let us try the other direction. Log base 5 of 1 25th is negative 2. Let us convert that to an exponential form. Again, using the basic formula, we see a is 5, and x is 1 over 25, and y is negative 2. We have com converted both directions for logarithms. Now we will look at natural logarithms. So let us look at this problem. 5 equals e to the k power. Again, we use the basic formula, y equals natural logarithm of x if and only if x equals e to the y power. We see that x is 5 and y is k, so we have k equals ln of 5. Our last problem, 7 equals ln of k. To put that into exponential form, we again use our general form, and we see that x is k and y is 7, so we have k equals e to the 7th power. So that is all there is to it. So take a few exponential forms and turn them into logarithms and back again. I think you know enough to work on the first section of the problems in the workbook. But remember, no cheating. Don't look at the answers until you try the problems. You will learn nothing if you look at the answers before you try the problems. Give the problems a try. And if you are having problems, the answers in the back are written step by step. After you finish those problems, you are ready for the second set of problems, solving basic problems using basic rules of logarithms. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please tell others about it. Donate to us to help us continue getting the word out to fight different atrocities in the world and prepare more educational products. Make your donation using PayPal to donation at adreamforbetterworld.com. Check out our website, www.adreamforbetterworld.com, and comment on our forum and blog.
If you have any comments, please send them to me at comments at a dream or better world dot com. Together, we can make this a much better world. Thank you for watching.